Northern Zimbabwe's rivers have dried up due to a severe drought in the region. Desperate villagers have dug holes along the dried out riverbeds to collect water to keep their gardens moist. Over 80% of the nation's farmers grow maize. Hard hit by the dry spell in this region, much of the crop has already begun to wilt. Hilton Mbozi is an agronomist with Comutech, an NGO that seeks to improve the livelihoods of rural communities in the country. He is convinced that maize monocultures can't provide food and seed security. With this climate change now, maize always fails. Farmers, uh, maybe five years they plant maize or they grow maize, maybe they just get a decent yield once out of every five years. So it, uh, maize is very susceptible to, 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 to droughts, to stresses caused by climate change. Comutech has helped establish the Chibika Community Seed Bank to promote the more drought and stress tolerant varieties of small grains like sorghum or chickpeas. Dorothy Chiwotanziawa has come here to take a delivery of small grain, which she is expected to pay back in seed interest after harvest. This in turn will boost the bank's seed stock. The seeds are stored under cool and dry conditions and they can last for up to two years in the facility. The good thing about a seed bank is that it's monitored by different agricultural specialists. In addition, the seed bank is well secured. It's different from keeping your seed within the confines of your household. In a household setup, your seed might be destroyed by fire or even theft. So far, there are only a few places like Harare's biggest open market where small grain farmers can sell their products. But gradually, awareness and attitudes are changing. Compared with previous years, things have changed. Demand is now very high among customers. As a result, the price of a 20 kilogram unit of small grains is 40% higher than that for maize. That has prompted Comutech to also create a local company where farmers can now supply their produce and in turn get paid. The seed bank in northern Zimbabwe's Mudzi district is already working with over 40 villages. Now we need to move a gap. Farmers, why not actually uh, also build the capacity of the farmers so that they produce seed uh, on their own? Because seed, especially the hybrid seed, is very expensive. For farmers in Zimbabwe's drought-stricken rural areas, Small grain seed banks are a welcome opportunity to move away from the high risks of maize farming. They provide food security and cut costs for the farmers and their families.